so we are down here today at Trafford Golf Centre. Hopefully you've seen the title of this video and are excited because me and Pete are. We are with Barry, golf personal trainer yeah, hello guys. to the stars. <laughs> <laughs> to us too. Uh, Swing, Fit from you, uh, Swing Fit UK, he does some fantastic work. We, uh, he's been working with myself to try and build up my golf fitness, strength, getting it knocking it past Finchie, I'm doing my best. Um, and he reckons today, it's a bold statement, Put my neck on the line. In a 20 minute stretch, he can help us hit the ball 15 yards further. 15 yards further <laughs> in 20 minutes. That's caught your attention, hasn't it? <laughs> so, what we're going to do, we're going to show you what the stretches are, and we're going to show kind of what we need to do. We're going to hit some shots as well and record it on two pieces of measuring device. We're going to measure it on GC2 and also on flight scope. Flight scope for the club head speed and GC2 for the carry distance. We're going to hit some real balls. I've also, like I said, brought in Finchie to make it a little bit more of a fairer test so it's not just me looking like I'm hitting it harder. It's I, both of us. And I need all the help I can get at the moment. You do, you do. I can't be having Rick hitting it past me. <laughs> and I may need all the help I can get you. Yeah, and, Bar and Barry time. needs to, yeah, needs to, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's putting his neck right on the line. So what we're going to do now, me and Pete are going to hit five shots each uh, with real golf balls and we're going to measure our average carry distance yeah. out of five and our average club head speed. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon we can get increase? How many, how, many, um, how many miles per hour increase? We're looking at four, five. Four or five miles per hour yeah, increase. That's what I'm looking at. Okay. So that should should equate to 15. I'm not saying it will happen on the average. But average. Ace, you know, at least two of the swings, we, hopefully we can get. Okay. So we're bailing out here. <laughs> so we're going to look at <laughs> seeing if we can. Edge of my We're going to see if we can hit this ball further by doing some <laughs> stretching. We've hit, we're going to hit five cold golf balls. We're not warmed up yet. So how you would normally get to the golf club, jump out your car and hit some shots. And then we're going to do some stretching to see if we can hit it further. So stay tuned. Right then guys, so we've hit five shots each, me and Finchie, um, completely cold. We've had a busy day teaching, so this is the, the, the worst prep we can possibly ever have. <laughs> um, and we've got some distances, so we're going to go distances first. We've got the GC2 carry distance with five real golf balls. Finchie not, is not hitting it the furthest yet, because that's how you would hit it if you were cold. 253 carry distance. His average club head speed was 106.7. Okay, which I reckon is about... Yeah, it's, it's about all right. I wasn't obviously connecting with the middle of the club face much, but it's pretty much what I'd be swimming okay. out of them. So I reckon that's about, about where it should be. Yeah. Uh, myself, I was hitting it 274 yards carry distance already. <laughs> so I was hitting it a lot better. Um, that's what I've got to put up with. <laughs> that's three, all day. Rich since, three weeks since, 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 since this started, this is all I had to put yeah. up with. And my Rich club head speed two. is currently 107.4. So 106.7, 107.4, 274, what did I say yours was Finch? I don't care anymore. 253. So he, we can see Finch, Finch should make a big leap, but the important one is his club head speed, that's what we're going to see. Yeah. So, do you reckon we can beat them numbers, Barry? So we're going to do some stretching, stay tuned. Thank you. 
Alright guys, so we are stretched out. All done. Yes, very much so. Ready to go. So that took us about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to do all the stretches. I've obviously sped it up so you don't have to sit there watching me and Pete yeah, do all the yeah. awkward stretches. <laughs> <laughs> the more we can, we can do our takes. Yeah. If yeah. the, <laughs> the, more, the more you do the stretches, the obviously the quicker you'll get as you learn the stretches a little bit more. So where would you do, where would you do these? I mean, well, the proof would, will be in the pudding in a minute. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you've got around 20 to 30 minutes before the effect of the stretch really wear off. If you, if, you, if you sat in your car for too long, you would have to re-stretch. But you know, you could do them at home, some at home, and then the lower body ones at home, it's a little bit more comfortable, and then do your upper body ones when you get to the locker room or the yeah. range or wherever. Yeah. Or you could do them all at home, you know, as long as you, you do them and you've got 20 to 30 minutes maximum before you start to hit balls. So we're now going to test this theory. We're going to hit five shots each. We're going to get it on camera. GC to it, flight scope it for club head speed. Just a reminder, Pete was carrying it at 253, not his best, but he was, he was cold and not ready to go yet. And uh, club head speed was 106.7. Yeah, 106.7. Uh, myself, I was carrying it at 273. My uh, club head speed was 107.4. So Barry's confident. Confident, yeah. That we should be both hitting yeah. into 110s at least. That's it. I mean, I wanted yeah. the guys to do it to do it cold as if you just turned yeah. it. But you yeah. know, I don't want you already loose. That was we're... the thing. So if you are ready to tag, well, they were cold. It's not yeah, fair. That's what we're looking for. You know, Again, don't be that guy. We're looking at, <laughs> we're looking at turning up at the golf course with... Yeah. On a cold winter's day, getting out your car and, and, and teeing off. That right. kind of cold. Anyway, day. before we yeah. before we cold, Pete, you're up. Okay. So, Barry, how are you feeling? If I get closer to the door, are you feeling every shot? I'm yeah. feeling confident. Feeling I, confident. I, I've you know I've, I've had the results before. I know it works. Okay. So, Pete. Yeah. We're on. Okay. How are you feeling? I I don't know. I've never done something that intense before, so it was quite a stretch. Um. So hit him like you would do normally. Is that a pun intended? <laughs> it was some stretch. Yeah, so I've just hit five. I've done those stretches. I've not hit any balls in between. So, straight into it. Straight okay. in. Good strain. That looks a nice start. Well, we've already got a 274 carry distance. And the club head speed of, still tracking. <laughs> 116 no. miles per hour. 116. <laughs> okay, next. 116. I wasn't even swinging at that. Nice shot. 274 again. So 274 carry distance again. And the club head speed, it's just searching it on flight scope. It takes a little bit longer. Um, 108. So it's dropped a little bit, but 108. Great distance still. So 275 carry distance. 275. And club head speed, it's just going to load up. We'll wait for that for a sec. So already after three shots, he's averaging much higher. That's gone 108 again. So he's, he's up to a couple of miles per hour. The distance is that distance is massively up. Two six one. So again, still a massive increase in distance. That didn't look your fastest that time. No, it wasn't great swing with that. That didn't look your fastest. One ten. One ten. So it's still faster than it didn't look it. So we've got one more. Okay. You're currently averaging two seven one carry distance, so much much longer, and one hundred and eleven miles per hour dead. Club head speed. Nice like shot. That. 279 carry distance that time. I got through that. You one. hit that well. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. 112 miles per hour club head speed. Say that. So that's an increase of nearly 20 yards and the uh, club head speed of uh, I can't work out the math exactly. It's something like six miles per hour extra club head speed. Right, it's me to go. Beat that. I know. <laughs> Are you impressed with that, Peter? I'm happy with that, that yeah. Good. <laughs> I'm happy. I can't, can't say no to that, can I? So I was 107.4, and averaging at 273. Let's see what I can get this time. Yeah. Okay. I know what you mean about feeling. I feel a bit. It's just je like a bit jelly kind of thing. It is. The club feels light though. Yeah, very light. So 
So 274 carry distance. It's about where it was before. I don't know if I hit that one quite as well. Club head speed? 111. 111. Now I've never got up to nearly 120, so it'd be, like, it'd be interesting to see how these next few if I do. That felt amazing. 280. 287 carry distance. That felt awesome. What's the club head speed? Exactly the same. 111. Two seven two carry distance. Not too bad. Well then speed. One ten. One ten. So it's still averaged up. I've got one more shot. Two. Two. Two more shots. Yeah, yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. That one felt really good. Two seven four carry distance. And we'll just wait for the club head speed on that one. That felt really nice. Popular number that for you. It is two seven four. Yeah. 111. 111. We'll take that. Yeah. 279 carry distance. And club head speed. That felt nice. That felt faster, definitely. Good to see. 113. Wow. 113.7. Wow. So if we have a look at the results. Right, guys, so. I think you've done it. I think, I think you've done it. Can't really argue with it, can you? Really? So we've, we've just put all the data in now. We've kind of summed it all up. There's been a huge increase in club head speed, yeah. without question. Big time. Uh, peak started at 106.7, and is now 111.1 or something. Point one. So 111.14. So massive increase there. I started at 107.4. Club head speed miles per hour, and I've upped it to 111.33. So a tangible improvement, yeah, big time. massive improvement. Now, distance wise, we've both increased distance, definitely. Um, we'll have a look at the distance that we've increased by. So, Pete started at 253. So, cold, just got out of the car, you know, the way you would possibly turn up to a golf club. So, he went from 253 to carry to carrying it to seven. Three. Okay. <laughs> 20 yards. My pre round free. routine sorted, isn't it? Really? 20 yard. In free, you might be able to keep up now. <laughs> 20 yards. In free. <laughs> so, that was good. Very, very yeah, impressive. Awesome. Yeah. Four right. miles per hour club head speed has equated to 20, mar 20 yards carry. And like I said, that was cold, never hit a golf shot, to 20 minute warm up, straight on, hit some shots. Um, best club head speed was 116 as well, so we really got some out there as well. Uh, myself, I started at 274. I've increased, but not quite as much. So, you know, it's hard to fine tune a Rolls Royce, as they say. So I, <laughs> I've gone up now to carrying it 277. So I've, in, I've increased it by four yards, which is still, I'm, I'm yeah, happy yeah, with that. Four yards. It was four miles per hour quicker ball speed. I just couldn't handle that power, basically. I just couldn't hit the middle of the face doing it. <laughs> so that was me increasing, increasing club head speed, but just couldn't quite find the middle of the face. Um, however, still a tangible improvement yeah, on both yeah, yeah. accounts. So guys, that is how you can hit the ball further in 20 minutes. So we've done what we said on the tin. You can hit the ball further by doing 20 minutes of stretching. The stretches that Barry down at Swing Fit UK Provided. Thanks, Barry. That's fantastic. Appreciate really, your time. Really, really, really do. Good. You can check Barry out on Twitter name down <laughs> here. Uh, I'm doing some fitness and strength videos with him as well. So, our target is to get to 300 yards carry distance. That's our target. That's what we're aiming to do. So, I think realistically, I probably need to up my club head speed to about 116, 117 to achieve that. Um, and we're, we're on the way. Yeah, we're we're well, well on the way. My longest was 287 or something like that, 287. So, we're not far away now. Um, also guys, you know my partner in crime, Peter Finch, check out his channel here by clicking the link. Do subscribe to my channel by clicking the link down here as well. And hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let us know how these stretches go. So please do do them. Locker room, car park, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> at home before you get to the golf club. Um, there should be golfers all around the country doing these stretches at the driving range, etc. now after watching this. So yeah. that's how we are going to see you improve your distances by taking care of you and your body before you go and play golf. You know, you're an engine. Get it warmed up before you go and play. Don't be embarrassed by it. 
Yeah. yeah. Don't be embarrassed by stretching. It's not a problem. Go and do it. It'll help. For, it'll help you hit the ball further, and it'll reduce injury as well. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and thanks Barry for your time. No problem. Thank I was you very much. hitting the ball Thank further. You. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Really good mate. He, he doesn't have to run anymore now. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I was ever going to chase him. Let's be honest. I won't worry. I won't worry. <laughs> what are you going to do when you catch him? <laughs> run back. <laughs> yes. Well done, guys. That was good. That was really good. Because usually four miles an hour. Let's say two point two yards per mile. Per hour.